Hello, this is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 2 of this Let's Play Stellaris as the United Oathsworn. In the last episode, we started doing the initial moves. We've sent out our fleet to start exploring. We've met some aliens, uh, two groups of hostile ones that started shooting at us, and I think we've started researching them. Yes, we have. Good. So that we can find out a bit more about them. And we are currently running away from these hostile aliens because they do outgun us fairly significantly. Not hugely. Like, if we built a few more corvettes, we'd probably be fine. But, um, why risk it? Our survey ship is also hard at work surveying the planets on our homeworld. I think he's actually almost done. No, he's got three more to go. Okay. And we are also building a mining station here around Argonera to create a little more credits. And basically we can just allow things to tick down and move on. How are things looking here? Alright, we've just escaped. And here we are, back already. Good. Right, that's the other system. That's what I meant. Okay, so where to now? Because we know that these two are both hostile, so what I think we're going to do is we'll return to Ursula, and then we'll head out to here, and then maybe to there. We don't want to go through these systems because they're dangerous and they'll shoot at us. And I don't really want to be shot at. It's not very polite. Oh, wow. Combat stations. Loads of defense. Just notice the 443. The numbers there is basically the combat strength of that vessel. So our um, construction ship, 41, is not, really not great. Like the science ship is probably something quite low as well, if they even have a number. They don't. And then our combat fleet has 74. And in fact, actually what I should do is send the combat fleet back here for repairs. And that is one of the options you can choose, so repair fleet. And you'll return to the nearest starbase, which is there, and start repairing to the nearest spaceport. Sorry. Are called spaceports? They are called spaceports. Sins of a Solar Empire, the starbases. That's, that's the difference. I was thinking, where else have I seen something like that? Well, that would be where. Another thing I should point out here, as you can see, this credit symbol with two, it actually shows you, and that is complete. the difference that having this details map mode... Oh no, it's not. It's just there anyway. Details map mode to the scanning stuff. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> it shows you what resources are present in this system. Because we've scanned this one fully, we know that there is just the two minerals, so it's not a great location. Except for it having our home world, which automatically makes it amazing. So our survey ship is now done, so what I think we will do is go and survey that system. And then can we queue up? We can. And then survey this system afterwards. So to queue it up I was just holding down shift as I selected the orders. And he should be heading off. Where are you? And there he goes. And arrive straight away. Interesting. So now you can see the uh, path is the uh, science ship's going to take doing all of those things. Of which, Folingar 2 is the one that we really want to have a look because it is the place that we could probably colonise uh, should we wish to. So what else is going on? Has our fleet been repaired yet? Note that is just an ongoing thing. You can see the percentage is on there. Our leader has gained a level, that is our surveying guy. Like I said, surveying does tend to give you a lot of experience, which is excellent. So I don't think it requires any more input from us, it just increases speed. Well, for this guy it's increased uh, research speed. So once we've maxed them out, then maybe we want to have them doing the assist research option, which I think increases... Well, I don't, actually, I don't know if the, uh, the level plays into that. Yeah, must do. Or we can switch them out for one of the scientists and boost science that way. So that was done. Good. System surveyed. Good. You are full strength. You are Special at full strength. Complete. So we'll send you off here. And here we go. So, oh, ancient mining drones. Reports of the deep space drones in certain systems have been investigated. The drones appear to be the workers and custodians of an autonomous orbital mining operation. So the systems that were over here that were attacking us, those were the mining drones that were shooting. Uh, autonomous mining operation established millennia ago and then soon, aban and then soon abandoned by 
all but the drones themselves, judging by the state of the processing equipment. Their purpose is obvious enough, mining. But who is it that tasked them is not immediately apparent. What is obvious is that no shipments of minerals have been retrieved from the system in hundreds if not thousands of years. They may be old drones, but they should be kept under close watch by the United Oath Swarm. So we can establish a listening post there, which issues a special project uh, for the mining drone observation. Or we can let us see what they're made of, uh, take them apart, which begins the mining drone analysis event chain. I don't like the idea of mining drone ops. Let's let's observe them. Situation log updated. So now, if we look at the situation log, we can do a mining drone observation, which takes another thirty to, uh, another ninety days. That one's engineering rather than social. The so actually, tab tallies our empire's monthly income and expense. Didn't mean to press that. So if we look here, we can see that society is actually behind. Uh, physics because it's been spending so much time uh, of observing the aliens that we've come across. We've explored Zowood. There is an arctic world, a continental world and a tropical world here. That is ridiculous. So in fact what we're going to do is you finish surveying that and I'm going to right click on that and survey that one first. Three planets here. Three. That's going to be a really strong location for us. I don't know precisely how good continental and uh, what was the other one? Tropical are oh, for us. Habitability, not sure. It's a 13. Where's the other one? And that's only a 12. And that's the continental. And then Arctic. Oh, it's massive, 23. So this would be a really, really good one for us to take, actually. Yeah, we, we definitely want to re, uh, invest resources into exploring there. And now you can see over here, we now have credits and physics research. So we probably do want to task our construction ship on getting a couple more uh, resource points here. And here we go. Mass extinction. Our first stumbling steps in the void beyond Ursula Prime were not motivated solely by our curiosity or a desire to conquer the unknown, or a need to leave our mark in the galaxy. The biosphere of Ursula Prime has undergone rapid changes in the past few centuries, and prominent scientists warn that, that Ursula Prime may be forced, faced with the beginnings of a mass extinction event, that cyclical purging of life that is inseparable from planetary existence in the greater cosmos. A research plan has been put together to study a number of planets rendered inhabitable by major astronomical incidents or planet-bound catastrophes. We hope that by constructing these events... Sorry, we hope that by reconstructing these events, or a similar fate may be avoided for Ursula Plyme and the Ursian race. It falls to you as the Chancellor of the United Oaths Warn to ensure that this expedition is carried out. So, begins the mass extinction through the ages event Situation chain. log updated. Oh wow, that's a lot of things that we need to do. Special project complete. Ah, and that was the other special project. So, the drones are remarkably efficient at squeezing ever-diminishing returns of the rocks from Ursian miners would have soon discarded, deemed exhausted of all worthwhile mineral content. Our top engineers are working on adapting the drone's methodology for use in the United Oath Swarm's mining of networks and stations which should improve efficiency, effectively lessening energy expenditure. Of lesser import is the fact that the drones are not completely silent. Contrary to previous assumptions, they emit signal pings though extremely infrequent and at wavelengths hard to isolate from background noise. If there is anyone left to receive these pings, may be a mystery for another time. So noted, that gives us access to the Droning Optimizations Edict. Or, we can add a list of min mineral-rich planetoids to the situation log. So that's basically telling us where mining sites can be found, and this one I think is just the optimization. I actually want the optimizations edict, so I think that can boost the amount of minerals you're getting, uh, should we need to. Oh, I see this is telling us to go to a barren, burned, chilly, desolate and noxious planet. Uh, can I see anywhere where those are? Down there. there. System survey complete. Uh, don't even see that one. Nor that one. So we'd have to go more in this direction uh, t to get those. Right, you are done exploring. You can go there, there, and then there. 
we'll just have a quick look around what is around us precisely. And what was I in the process of doing? Ah yes, I was going to start building some stations. Now I'm not sure you can build a station on a planet that you intend to colonize. I somewhat suspect you can't. So we're going to build a mining station here so that we can continue getting more credits. And I'd kind of like to colonize this one still because it is an arctic world and arctic worlds are excellent for us. Um, speaking of which, can we get colony ships yet? No, we are still researching it. Never mind then. You are still exploring. Encounter in Marcas. We have encountered some form of alien vessels in the Marcas system. These strange objects, these strange objects, have been flagged as gamma aliens. All right, let's have a quick look where that is. Not seeing these aliens. Neutral fleet, not hostile. I would say continue. Something along those lines, if you would. And Falangar has been completely surveyed. Good. So can we find out anything more about this place? Ah, we can see the surface. So there is some food. Mm, okay. Five blocked areas, most of which are massive glaciers. Mass extinction, chilly planet. The planet of interest in this system is covered in layer upon layer of dense ices and varying composition. Apparently it is once home to a more varied and pleasant biome. A special project has been issued to investigate this possibility. Oh, so we've found a updated. chilly planet, I guess, is what that is saying. So if we go to the situation log, boom, we can start doing it. Ophit 6 has level skill or two higher. Where is this? Ah, and that was our military force. So feet is where we need to go. So once you are done with that, can I tell you to select you, click you, and then feet right click, research project. So that was again holding down shift. So once he's done surveying um, Zowod, they'll make their way over to feet and then do the research project over there. Good. Continue. Meanwhile, what are you guys doing? You are still exploring. Good. An ocean world, desert world, arid world. Another encounter. We have encountered some form of alien vessels in the Moblar system. These strange objects have been flagged as Delta aliens. Okay, okay. And they are hostile. Well, they are hostile and very, very strong. Oh, it's a star base. Is it? No, it is a creature. It's not going after us, but it's, wow, 452 combat strength against our 74. It's rather a lot. There are a lot of habitable planets here, though. Another desert world. So the planets over here were definitely better than the ones over here. Let's see if we can do a bit more. Uh, no, situation locks. What I'm looking. Where is it? It's there. I thought I was clicking on that. Apparently not. Right. So we can investigate the gamma aliens, which is society. In fact, they're both society. Fine. Go for it. And now you are doing a feat. Excellent. So you'll fly over there. And then begin doing your research. Oh, sorry, so I feel. I fell. Not a feet. It's reading that. Apologize. So, what do you have to find for us here? I kind of just want to see the animation. <laughs> That's just the regular scanning animation. Alright. Have you finished building that thing? You have not. You're still under construction, that's fine. Apparently nothing in... 
Oh, you didn't actually finish surveying this place. Oh, I thought you would have finished surveying it and then head over here, but apparently not. But once you've done that, holding down shift, right click, survey. Now finish doing that first. Good. Mining station has been built. Mining stations are used to extract the minerals and strategic resources of the object they orbit. Okay, cool. So we've got another mining station there. Special project complete. An unnatural shift in the atmosphere's chemical makeup has resulted in the slow but irreversible onset of an ice age. One that began before the formation of the United Oceanfall and is likely to persist long after our passing. The exact cause remains unknown, but probable explanation include failed terraforming attempts or even interplanetary terrorism. Wow, that's pretty harsh terrorism to invoke an ice age. Some of the more radical elements within the scientific community on Ursula Prime suggest that the dramatic climate shift may have been brought on by unchecked emission of gaseous industrial byproduct into the atmosphere. That sounds familiar. This view is confined to the scientific fringe, as it is unlikely that any race intelligent enough to achieve full industrialization would be stupid enough to accidentally wipe themselves out. Um. <laughs> A little dig at our own planet there, I think. Hostile fleet detected. Where are you moving to? Zoltan. You are a pretty strong fleet, though. I think I'd like to send you back here. Oh, who's this? Placid Leviathans. Oh, those are the, um... Like... The space cows. Oh, those are ours. Right, where is he going? Ooh, there's multiples going over here. Hmm. Interesting. It's making me feel a little bit nervous. I could really do with building some more ships, I think. They won't be the most powerful ships ever. How do I do it? Uh, build. There we go. So I think we're just going to get the base level corvettes. I don't think there's any things that I want to change there. So if we go into the ship designer, we can take a look. So the Bakharians are the ones with the Small and the medium guns. I'm going to keep the mediums just in case we come across some of the bigger alien stuff that we can then shoot at. Um, power 2. Generates 10, so there is some left over. Radar. Chemical thrusters. Reduce thrust. Balance approach between offense and defense. And apparently you can shift these, so you can just kind of change the the defensiveness or aggressiveness of your ships and thing. Yeah, you can add or remove these modules as you wish. But I have nothing to replace them with, so that is totally fine. Actually, can I not add more armor or anything? I do still have three slots here. No, apparently not. You can kind of see which ones are available because they are in coloured, well that one's greyed out so I can't select it, which means I don't have any more weapon spite spots either. Ah, and you can choose what kind of hull you're using, so the striker core is a small and medium weapon sl slot, uh, interceptor is three smalls, shifter is one small but it has more utility, two medium utilities, so that would be like a carrier probably, or I guess repair ships, those are a thing. Uh, anyway, what was I going to do? Yeah, I was going to build some more ships, wasn't I? Build three more of those. I feel a bit more comfortable when I have more of a fleet. Oh, and this shows you all the leaders. Huh, interesting. Okay. What does it? Special project complete. Communications established with the Great Sijathari Imperium. After successfully translating their language, we have established communications with the great Sijesh, the Sijesh Thari Imperium. 
diplomatic channels are now open and all hostilities have, have been terminated. With an alien empire. These fascinating beings appear to have mastered... Yeah, thanks. So, first contact. So we can choose how we want to react to them, and that is dependent on our ethics. I speak on behalf of the great Sejithari Imperium, and I bring you greetings. Our great leader, Empress Skalgrim I, is very pleased to have made contact with your unique species, and we look forward to an exchange of culture and ideas. Cooperation would surely benefit us all. Because we're a xenophile materialist, xenophile militarist, or xenophile... Sorry. Materialist, militarist. We will not be held back. As fellow star explorers, we salute you. Your cooperation will seriously benefit us all. I'm going to go with the middle one. The news that we have encountered intelligent alien life for the first time is spreading like wildfire throughout the United Oath Swan. Our citizens are fascinated by these beings, and the media is full of reports and speculation of their culture and society. This revelation that we are not alone in the galaxy has been largely greeted with celebration on Ursula Plarin. Just like us, the aliens appear to be relative newcomers on the galactic stage, and their level of technology is similar to our own. This is a momentous occasion! So now if we zoom out... There we go! We can see them. So they've only got the one system, they've not tried to uh, take anything else, and their borders are basically the same as ours. So they are pretty much at precisely the same level of development. Cool. The diplomacy screen is where we can... And just how friendly are they? So power is... Equivalent. Pause. And their attitude towards us is neutral. Thrifty ocean preference. Xenophile fanatic pacifist. They'll be like the best neighbours ever. They are pure diplomacy. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send them one of our embassies. You do only have a limited number of embassies. I think you can, yeah, you can have up to three. Uh, the only way to improve that, as far as I know, is to be a pacifist. So the pacifist would have four, and the fanatic pacifist, like these guys, would have five of them. And it will increase our relations by plus one to we have plus 100. Now, if we look at the In contact, the contact screen, screen, we see a we can see where how far they are and our relations with them. Now, usually you actually start with a negative with most nations. But because we are both xenophile, and because, sorry, because I'm a xenophile, I get plus 20. And because, oh no, is that because they're a xenophile? Because they're a xenophile, I get plus 20. And because we are both a xenophile, we get the plus 10. And new contact, there you go, there's a minus 20. And they don't like some of our voting rights. Probably because we are a direct democracy, and they are not. They're an autocracy of some kind. Cool. Onwards! Alien vessels have arrived in Ursula. Where's my fleet? You're there. I'll head over here, because I'm under attack. Are they actually attacking us? Unknown capabilities. How long till I get some more ships built? Isn't that shown anywhere? Apparently not. Oh, there's the first of our ships. Now we can merge you with the other one. How do we merge you? Oh, you're a mining station. That's what I had wrong. You are the task force. Now, press actually both and then merge. Do that. Alright, are they still here? No, they've left. Alright, good. Yeah, that's right. Leave. Okay, are you still scanning? Science ship is, I think, scanning. Yes, you are. Good. And have we merged our fleets yet? No, we have not. How's research doing? We have almost got physics, we've almost got the engineering, but society is lagging behind a bit. In fact, society is going to lag even further behind, because I would like to research those other aliens, so we know a little bit more about them. Okay, continue. Now have you merged? Oh, you're a new one. Select you two. I'm just holding shift and then merge. One 
124. Alright, and go and repair, because apparently one of you has been damaged a bit. Which is not good. Planet of the Titans. Zoad 3 is home to titanic life, some of which are so numerous and dangerous that they render some areas of the planet inhospitable to, for any species. Society research gained 60. We will have to avoid these areas we ever set foot down there. Abnormal conditions. As our science ship scans the surface of Zoad 3, it becomes quite clear that we have found something out of the ordinary. The planet is host to massive life forms that might be dangerous to interact with. We will surely come across more irregularities like this as we survey new planets and we should not underestimate their impact on our expansion. Alright, so Zoward 3 was the Arctic planet. Of course it was. Oh, here we go. Titanic life forms. Numer numerous titanic aliens make this area home. It would be wise to avoid it. This blocker cannot be cleared. Ah, so massive glacier removal is what you need for the massive glaciers. Yeah. Apparently there is no to technology for the titanic life forms. And I, want, I know that some of these actually move around and crush what was under them. I don't know if that's true for these. Maybe it's just like a um, specific research tree that you need to go through in order to kind of protect yourself against them. Uh, one thing I will say for Zobod 3 though is it has a three mineral spot. So building a mining station here would actually be pretty useful. I'm too short on minerals, but I'm going to send you over here regardless. Okay, where is my science ships? Oh, they are still surveying. Never mind then. Continue. In fact, you're almost done, so I can send you off to the next space. Which will be here. So again, holding down shift, make sure that they go off and do that after they finish scanning here. One thing I would like to do is click on Ursula Prime. Spaceport has finished its construction. Good. And they automatically merged. Right. So these ones, too clear. Oh, I just told it to clear. <laughs> Anomaly found. Cancel that. I, I didn't actually want to do that. So, no, I didn't require any special technology for any of these. Okay, cool. It just costs resources. Anomaly! There are signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization, the vicinity of this gas giant. And here we go, we have a 5% chance to fail. So I'm going to research it with that science ship. Because he is very good at doing anomalies. And that is why I made him my science guy. So our f military fleet is rather stronger now. It has a strength of 149. So I'm going to send them off exploring once more. What was here? Alien vessels. Well, we're going to go here. And then like something like this. Uh, do I want to go up or around? I'll probably do that. See what we come across. What was this? Repairs completed. Good. And then the anomaly. Yes, excellent. And we are doing that research. This research is still going on. We still don't have colony ship research, but uh, it's fine. Construction ship. Mining station. There. We probably will eventually colonize it, but not yet. You've very nearly done it. There it goes. The Erasian Concordat. We have recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on Zoward 7. From what we have translated so far of their language, we have learned that these aliens called themselves the Erasian Concordat. They were an interstellar power that held sway over this region of the galaxy a little more than a million years ago. They appear to have been a six they appear to have been six limbed mammalians, and there are several references to some sort of plague called the Javorian Pox, which spread through the Empire with devastating results, possibly leading to their extinction. Begins the precursors, the Erasian's event chain. Situation log updated. Cool. So we need to find artifacts from the Concordat. Marvellous. Oh, hostile fleets. This is another... Oh, is this the same place? Yeah, this is the one with the spaceport. Special project complete. Space amoebas. The entities encountered by a fleet some time ago are new wondrous forms of spaceborne life. 
quickly nicknamed Space Amoeba following an analysis analysis gross um, misreading of initial serve sensor input output oh man I can't read today the creature is in fact larger than the average Ursian Corvette we should leave it to be and remotely monitor the creature and its kin from Ursula Prime issue a special project for remote space amoeba study or we expect our fleets to make short work of the creature now we're going to log updated. we need to see if we can give them laws and things to abide by system survey complete so, so much society research going on right now because we keep meeting all these weird alien creatures I think that's fairly normal for the beginning of one of these games though. You spend a lot of time meeting and discovering these alien races and then after that yeah. things updated. get a little more technical. We have encountered some form of alien vessels in Chipux, the Epsilon aliens. More aliens. <laughs> Bearing in mind what I was just saying about meeting lots of aliens. Anyway, that is the end of this episode, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you are enjoying it. If you are, then please do like and subscribe, and if you're not, do it anyway. <laughs> um, if you have any tips or advice for me, then please do leave a comment in the section below. I do try and read and respond to pretty much everything. Likewise, if you have any questions or you want me to kind of check something up or something, anything like that, that would be the place to do it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.